This is Electric Felix, the Berlin challenge with the Ionic 5 Project 45 edition about to start. Over there is Hermannstrasse, the S-Bahn station. Over here is Hugo waiting with his brand new vehicle. Let's start before the cops get us. Two minutes past 2 p.m. 100% in the battery. Let's go! We're off. Rijden, toch snel. Min mogelijk region. Traffic jam number one. Lego Laue now with new Alpitronic machines at 300 kilowatts in the navigation. As you can see, the gum says we will not make it, but I think we will. And we can always bail out at Ionity Live the North earlier. Flying Tesla in the left lane. Not can show it. Oh, there it is. Nobody's flying when it's busy. Total standstill on the autobahn after nearly 140 kilometers. <laughs> One and a half hours in, as you can see, the first huge traffic jam. Consumption going down little bit but also we're not moving the gasometer thinks we won't make it let's find out Stau number four incoming. As you can see, we will absolutely never make it to Alego, so Ionity, here we come. Lights are green now. One light is not green. Bitte warten, Hugo is already ready to go. Yes, that's the sound we want to hear. Takes a long time, this communication with Fahrzeug. Yes! 6% And we're up. Let's see what happens. This ramp up. 
It is an empty layer to north at Ionity. I noticed that this light was turned off, but I think it's only the light because the charger seems fine. Meanwhile, we're charging at 200 kilowatts. Two hundred and eight now at ten and above percent. Amps already dropping. Well, it's a bit of an overstatement. Inside the car, the view is like this. It predicts more than twenty minutes to eighty percent. Let's show you some stats from the car scanner that I got recommended on YouTube. Battery is warming up as you can see Charge is ramping up. Let's see how far Ionity Salzbergen is from here. Already four minutes into the session and we're now to 15 kilowatts. Still going up. Amps are going up. Volts are going up. Everything is up. Just seven minutes in. 24 kilowatt hours added to 19 kilowatt speed and still rising these volts are still going up and the amps aren't going down give us two 20 kilowatts please oh boy yes 220 after eight minutes to 21 still going up Two, two, two! Give us more! Give us more! Felix went for a bathroom break, but the throttle is here. Big drop. Ten minutes and we're dropping to around 180 kilowatts you can see the amps have been throttled id3 arriving and the next one is already coming in pole start time so it's 200 kilometers to get to salzburg and even more so we need more in the battery. Second throttle after 30 minutes, we're leaving. Meanwhile, it got busy. Ciao, everybody. The instant Alpitronic check-in, 11% arrival after 130 kilometers up fast. No racing now, driving. Okay, it takes a bit longer than Fastnet to start. Why? I don't know. Battery will be warm. I'm gonna check the OBD dongle to see how warm. We've been driving fast, charging fast. It predicts 23 minutes to 80%, like last time at Ionity. But we're not gonna wait till 80%, I promise you that. And boom, we're above 300 amps. So, 
we almost did 400 kilometers today and it is not four hours of travel time yet so that is a nice average for now here at AMBV just before Melle where there is a fastnet but fastnet cannot deliver this speed at that location with the van der Valk hotel so that's why we're here Yes, there's even a place to relax and some 50 kilowatt triple charging. Meanwhile, ramping up still to 18 kilowatts, seven minutes connection time. And we did hit two, two, two speed again even though it's now not there yes and ag again the throttle even before 50% after 9 minutes we gotta go to fastnet in the Netherlands will we make it though we need to correct our speed a bit we're gonna do a 10 minute charge just for fun. Why do nine minutes if you can do 10, right? Boom, we're done. What happened here at the AMB Way charger? It's very simple. We miscalculated because the Dutch border is still far away. We could have driven very fast if we would have charged longer. But normally we visit Ionity Salzbergen on the way home and now the exit is shut off. So this messes with the plan. Last time with the BMW iX3 I tried Allego near the border. Also didn't work great. There's a Shell recharge station in the Netherlands, but that doesn't give the full speed. The Yonic 5 can do. We really made an error here and should have charged longer. Ten percent left. And 35 kilometers to the exit. Charge immediately. Power limited. Fastnet 21 kilometers. The Berlin challenge in full force turtle mode. We made it to Fastnet Vundelaar and now this is our last charging stop. 100 kilometers or something like this to go to Amsterdam. <laughs> It's still ramping up after nearly nine minutes.
2041 yes trying to show you all the displays 2041 we started at 2040 so imagine that that is only a couple of minutes behind my record time with the Taycan which was already a year ago I cannot believe it I will show you all the details later right now the most important is that we made it to Amstel station in Amsterdam in less than 6 hours and 40 minutes 39 6 hours 39 minutes it's the EV parade in Amsterdam the EV parade with Ovefiets in the back and everything thank you for watching the Berlin challenge our first time with the Yonic 5 we made it home in a new record time for a vehicle that everyone can buy for a normal amount of money earlier I was on a total high of course because I apparently said 2040 that was our departure time well no we left at 1402 so our arrival at 2041 means six hours 39 minutes of travel time today wow thank you ionic 5 thank you Hugo. ciao the ionic 5 ladies and gentlemen the EV that can do record time without paying a fortune. <laughs>